Check equipment, it's just a, we got a big spoon, it's real rugged, good and thick, so you can pull on it. Pull the seeds out, scrape it down a little bit. And if I'm not doing videoing and stuff and screwing off, I can keep up with Carol. So this squash all gets washed by hand. Carol does that usually one or two days before we're gonna cut. Make sure all those boxes are packed. And then it has a chance to dry out, just air dries. And then Sunday mornings we get up and we do it. <clears throat> Carol uses a Swiss peel up. And, uh, yeah, we'll show you. I'll get you over close here in a second. Let me get a couple ahead here without talking too much. You know, I'm bothering huh? <clears throat> a lot of people wonder, you know, how we make a living there on, on just 20 acres. Well, this is part of the pie right here. We, we do something each, each season, basically, and uh, as soon as Thanksgiving's over, then we've got about a two-month lull where she orders seeds and, you know, we're just fixing the greenhouses and doing maintenance. Not really any steady job every day, so it's kind of nice. It gives us a, about a two-month break, but of course, the rest of the year, you know, all summer, you're seven days a week. You kind of earn it. I don't know. You probably get a little less time off than most people in the world, but you know, we make up for it in them two months. Yeah, I can almost gain on her a little bit. I can definitely keep ahead of her, but not by much. It's pretty fast with a peeler. Get you over there close enough, you can actually see what she does. She does the lower end, then spins it around. You hang on to a bowl, as you can see, that gives you something to hang on to. She's pretty fast at it. She can do this for two, three hours straight. I don't know how she does it, because my arms won't handle it. But she's just like a good machine that don't quit. And then that one will go in the bowl. And these stainless bowls will fill.